And welcome back! Hello! Alright, two? Twisted Light, I know, I know who to talk to. Alright. Oh, this guy again? Hey, I know you. My dad arrested you and locked you up. Ah, oh, Mr. Tukin! <laughs> Criminals like you shouldn't be walking around without a care. Come with me. You're under arrest. And just how are you gonna arrest us? You, you put up quite enough. Thanks. We put up with put quite up enough. enough thanks to your chief of police. Don't hit me! I'll report you to my dad so fast. I don't see your dad here, do you? My my dad has got a third eye. He's special. He's the best police chief that ever was. He's lucky I don't even I don't give him the standard pair of black eyes for a third for a good measure. <laughs> Puzzle nine zero nine four. Policing the streets. Ah, okay. So basically, we want to patrol all the streets. So okay, we'll put you there, and that'll take care of that, that, and the corners, and those diagonals. So we want to put one... And we're going to put one here, because we need this diagonal, too. Yeah. And it so, covers up and down, too. Yeah. So I'll give you a different color, so we don't get confused. So, there. So you. There. You. And diagonal there. And you. I would put one cop... I'm going to put one in this corner. Yeah, that would cover a lot. Oh, good. Make you green. Covers that. And, and that. that. Now we just need this two streets, so we'll just put them there. Yeah, put them right there. Submit. I'll handle this one, Professor. Ha! My puzzle Correct. was unsolvable. No oh no, it was solved! <laughs> Shit! No street is left uncovered if the four guards uh, stand in these positions. Well, well, give up yet? Wait, you got it? Your third eye ha hasn't wouldn't even fool a child. Anyone can solve that. Don't hit me! Because I have such a kind nature, I'm going to let you go free. Does your dad have a second brain that he can borrow, maybe? That you can borrow, borrow maybe? Burn! <laughs> okay, now to the Grand Plaza. I'd already go. <laughs> okay. Hi, Maggie. Did you hear? I made an arrest of, uh, in the Spectre case. Maybe now I can finally see some proper sightseeing in town. Oh, where did he want to go? Uh, oh, I haven't decided on that yet. It's tough uh, leaving my hotel. It's so nice. To be honest, without the Spectre, this town seems kind of boring. But I would like to get a good look at the Golden Garden. Do they have tourists for that yet? For that yet? Before I head back to London, I want to solve the, this puzzle. Could you help? Alright. 095, house hunting. Ah, okay. The house in... Or the houses in this town are numbered from 1 to 88. I asked a boy three questions to find out where he lives. Is your house number higher than 44? Okay, uh, let me just skip. The boy said yes to all three questions. What number is the boy's house? So, higher than 44. All right. Cool. Can your house number be divided by 4? Yes, so, it has so that makes it 11. Number. No, it's a, is it higher than 44? Higher than 44. Can okay. I multiply a number by itself to get your house number? So, number higher than 44. So, let's start with 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Yeah. Let me just change this to black. But 49 is not easily divisible by 4, so that's not it. Let's try 8. That'll give us 64, which is easily divisible by 4, since, you know, it's twice 8. Yeah. But you combine them, you get 10. So it'll be... What do you mean, you get 10? Well, you can multiply... Oh, so it'll be 8. Yeah, you're right. No. It'll be 64. Yeah, 64 is the answer. Cool. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah. This is what I've come up with. Because then the only because the only other number would be nine, and that'd be eighty-one, and yeah, again, not easily divisible. No. Uh, he lives at sixty-four. It's easy if you know your times tables. Yay! Hey, you just solved it for me. That's not fair. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you, some sort of smart genius kid or something? Well, thanks, I guess. Bitch. Why do we... Oh, he has a puzzle, too. Okay. Yeah, he's just right there. I, I know that. People who look nice can be evil. I've never seen so many movies watch where that... I've seen so many movies where that's the case. case. 
take a look for example. You seem all proper, but you have no what this goes on in your mind. What a horror thing to say. Hey, I'm talking a little like lady. I I've seen it in movies. Yeah. Now all people to talk out there. I'm sorry if I offended you. I get carried away sometimes, but how I mean that's possible for my quick book. For my guidebook. <laughs> yeah. Zero nine six, seven towers. Oh, this will be fun. Seven towers stand on a waterway, each connected by a bridge. One day, the towers are tested to see which ones can be reached after crossing exactly six bridges. Uh, starting from shore A or shore B, it is discovered that all of the towers can be reached in this way, except one. Which one is it? That's the, that's our, that's the puzzle. we got to yeah. figure out which one that is. So, starting from B, one, two, two three, three, four... Five, six. So it's not that one. Yep. And then five, six. Okay, so it's not that one. So, race. Then one, two, two. three, four, five, six. So it's not this one either. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not this one, this one, or this one. It can't be this one. Yeah, so it has to be that purple one. Which purple one? The one on top. That one. That one? Yeah. Uh, Cause let's see, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I already did that one. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did that one already? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it, I can't double cross a bridge because that doesn't count. Anyway, it's this one. <laughs> okay, like, what the <laughs> fuck? What do you think about this? That was what the hell? Well, that one is Correct! Just, that one is just trial and error to figure out which one you're supposed to do. But, uh,. Oh, it doesn't show you the different paths you oh, can Oh, I take. wish you could take... Oh, it doesn't show it? That's bullshit. They should have showed it. Yeah, to make it easier. Oh, well. I came here to look for the golden garden, but I expected from my friends. I got separated from, from my, my friend. friend. He's on quite an exploration team, and no one ever seen about the legend. I don't even know what happened to him. My friend disappeared. So weird. Saw a movie like this once. Okay, right, we're done no, with you. Going to the, uh, high arc... Uh... Yeah, here. Nothing but rubble. This building is completely destroyed. The fog was so sick I couldn't see two inches in front of me. Typical of a fog that, er, that accompanies the specter. Professor! <clears throat> D uh, do you think that specter somehow creates fog? That does appear to be the case, although I'm not yet certain what it means exactly. Maybe we should split up and search the area. It doesn't say anything about clicking. What are you looking for? Oh, I guess I can't do that yet. Uh, where does it say to next? Uh, at the point you should have. That's all it says. Oh, okay. Oh. And then he just put together the pipes. <laughs> yeah. Of course. That's it. Finally, the puzzle pieces fit together. What is it, Professor? Do you two remember what the flute sounded like? Not just what it played, but what the actual quality of the sound. Do you recall? What did the flute sound like when the spectre appeared? It echoed through the town. The spectre drowned it out. It had a jazz fusion player. Uh, A. Well, yes, but I'm going to answer C just so Uh, it was some kind of jazz, right? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Uh, nothing, just kidding. It's, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. It didn't... It wasn't as humorous as other ones. <laughs> oh. Everyone said they heard it. It was echo throughout the town. Exactly. Even with no one near, the flute still echoed clearly. Everyone in town heard it. Not just those near the specter. Is there anything that could, uh, carry the sound throughout Miss Hallery? Anything you can think of? Hmm. Information network through old pipes down the canals. Old pipes. It's those old pipes we have all over the town. They carried the sound. I believe you are correct, Luke. The sounds were carried throughout Miss Tallery in those old pipes. So someone's in there playing it. 
So I must see old pipes um, all over Miss Sally. Well, they echo along the walls. That too. Although you think eventually it would just quiet out enough. But... Yeah. So, all right. Yes, that's correct. I believe the uh, pipes go all the way up to Bard Manor on High Yard Hill. That's... They started up at the lake. Professor, you're not supposed this. Yes, let's head to Bard Manor. I think all will be made clear there. Yes. Alrighty. So... Chapter 9. The Spectre Becomes Clear. Alright, we want to go... Oh, look, there! The ruins are, are created to, uh, created to that door. Can we look inside, Professor? What's in here? Uh, Naya's room, which isn't mentioned how you find it. Oh, but, it's... Uh, Who is this? A doctor? Well, Naya. Anyway. Um... Ooh, I found a grinning toy. Yeah. Alright, uh... Blue records on the bookcase on the right. Um... Top box of records on the right side. And then middle of the photograph. Sorry, sorry. And that's it. Who are you? Ah, oh, guests. What a rare surprise that, uh... My name is Na uh, Naya. Come in. Why, thank you. I'm Herschel Layton. Might I ask what you are doing here? I'm looking for inspiration. I'm a singer, and this town bubbles over with creative ideas. Vibes? Yes, just listen. Bubbling water, whispering wind, the footsteps of a traveler on a leafy trail. The air is clean here, and the people are qu uh, quirky and kind. It's the perfect town for making music. When I look at the town from here, my soul just wells up with the spirit of music. Yes, I can see how lovely of you would uh, spur one's creativity. I'm always writing music up here, but I'd love it if you came by to visit from time to time. Never again. Yes, I would like that as well. Thank you. We leave. Yep. Never to return like, again. To be honest, she looks like a doctor from the her scarf and everything like that. Right, right. All right, now we go to um. Oh wow, quick townscape. Quiet townscape. Quiet townscape. Sorry. Talk to oh, Toppy! Toppy! Haha! The tenth mouse badge! He's got a puzzle for us. Tony's sister, really frail. They all, er, they all call her a witch, and she just. Er, and she can't do anything about it. It's so sad. She's really nice when you get to know her. She's. She's been through a lot. Hey, we think alike. Here, try this puzzle as a sign of my friendship. Puzzle 097. How yep. many friends? A girl is having some friends from school over for a party and wants to share her special chocolates with them. Oh. If she gives them out uh, so that everyone has three chocolates, there will be six left over. However, if she tries to give everyone five, uh, she'll have or she'll be short by six. How many friends are coming over to her party? Oh, shit. Okay, we'll put this enter it in. Four? Five. Five. Okay. I hate wood I stuff think like that. This is right. Correct. That was it. There's a total of six friends, so yeah. I suppose she would give us how many chocolates she had. That would have made it too easy. Yeah. How did you do that so fast? You cheated. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're the mayor's son, Luke, right? How did he know that? I heard Tony talking about you. He said you were a good friend. And any friend of a friend, or any friend of my friend, is a friend of mine. We can dance. We can dance. <laughs> we can dance. Da, 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 da. Okay, two. This is Pat. Talk to the fat fuck. I thought there might be some interesting finds around here. But there's not so much uh, as a button. Maybe I uh, read the instructions wrong. Yeah, Aaron will be upset with me again. Just the other day, I tried to show her a really good puzzle, but she just blew it off. 098, simple code. All that is known about the secret code is what's written on the back of a piece of paper. These symbols follow a rule and are listed in order from top to bottom. As shown by the question mark, what is the sixth symbol in the code missing? Hold on, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. 
E. No. Damn it. Zero. I know that. One. Because there's only one point. Two. Two. Two points. Three, four, five. It's five. So, the one with five on it. D. D, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's D. I was looking at, like, patterns. That's what I was looking at. Correct! Patterns, patterns are off. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, like, for example, four kind of looked like A because they took the line out. You know, eh, whatever. Oh, anyway, there you go. All right, cool. This is a good puzzle, no matter what Marilyn says, right? I think it's good. Even her customer said it was a good puzzle. I wonder why Marilyn didn't like it. Well, where are you expecting her to work with a puzzle? <laughs> Alright, so now we go here, and we talk to this guy. And that's it. We have to go back to Board Manor now after this. Okay. When we were excavating, the oddest thing ha uh, happened. We opened up the caves, but their walls kept collapsing. It looked like there used to be some kind of underground river that's been long dried up. Isn't that strange? This holler is full of water, and it, the canals are still here. That certainly does sound odd. Do you recall anything else? Well, we found a few pot. Uh, found a few pots. Puzzle zero nine nine. A watched pot. As an uh, appraiser of antiques, uh, browse an antique shop. Uh, he was approached by the shopkeeper. One of these four pots is known as the 915 pot. If you can work out which one it is, then I'll believe you, uh, that you're the top pot appraiser. Which pot is 915? Let's see. Because I see like nines and fives in that, but just looking at it. Yeah, but that's misleading. Okay. Th this game loves its 24 hour clocks. Fuck. I hate. Okay. So it's gotta be D. Yep. <laughs> Twenty-one fifteen. A yeah. challenging puzzle, to be sure. Correct! And it's symmetrical. <laughs> I love the thrill yeah. of a good solution. I had a feeling. Yeah. The decoration on the pot looks like twenty-one fifteen, which is nine fifteen on a twenty-four hour clock. <laughs> God damn. Oh, that was also some uh, silver in the ground as well. We joked that maybe we we're on the trail to the wrong garden. <laughs> Fascinating. Please go on. It wasn't a lot of silver, so it wasn't really important. Just bits here and there. Alright, now we go to um, Bard Matter. I would take the boat. To get up there. No, because the closest boat is just right up here. Oh, fuck, you're right. So it's like right there. Yeah. Right. Never mind. I can take it on the way down when we're leaving. There you go. I'm surprised it's not attacking the Spectre has an attack the dam. Because there's no reason for it to. Yet. Nope. Yeah. Alright. Mr. Layton. I have a Oh, wait, one second. I know what the Spectre is and who is controlling it with the flute. You do? I understand. I knew it was only a matter of time. Please, follow me then. So in this game, we've had specters, sure witches... Person? Yeah? What's that? Some kind of flute. Sorry, we've had specters, we've had witches, we've got... Well, we had, another, we had another witch. Well, this is the flute, but... Yeah. Oh, my. But now we're at the part of the game where we get to read a real monster. I present... The Loch Ness Monster! What? The hell? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's cute. That's not the specter, though. Is 
this the Spectre? No. It's half the Spectre. This is our good friend Lucia. She comes from an ancient race. Isn't she beautiful? I think she's one of the last of her kind. Oh, no. She's half of it? Well, wait. So why were wait. you making Lucia oh. attack the town? Okay, so I won't, so, or I won't click for a little bit. But remember what, during the first attack we saw that after the Spectre left, the streets were soaked in water. Right. So it's her splashing around. It's her attacking whatever the other half of the Spectre is. She's trying to prevent the other Spectre attacking the town? Yes. So the f it's like monster fighting, pretty much. Yes. Oh, that's awesome! Uh -huh. Alright, alright, alright. Continue. I wasn't. Lucia is not the Spectre. The real Spectre is something far worse. What? My brain is so confused. Lucia was actually protecting Miss Tallery from the Spectre. Oh wow! Did Lucia destroy buildings with her flippers? And look at her body. Scratches on oh, scratches. These injuries were sustained while fighting with the real Spectre. So what is a Spectre? It's something with those like weird arms and the glowing eyes. Yeah. So. And why does Ariana have that flute? Now, just slow down, both of you. Allow me to explain. I wanted to stop the fighting. Oh, well, go ahead, Ariana. Steal my thunder. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I have to go have a moment. The only thing that calms Lucia down. Hey, I've spent like 12 hours trying to solve this case. I want my spot in the limelight. Continue. When Lucia appeared. Tony saw the town being destroyed from the tower here. He told me everything. And so I played the flute. Because I didn't want her to get hurt. And that sound carried through the pipes to every part of town. But again, like, how does that work? Yeah. Did they echo that far, really? Yeah. That's right. Ariana, it's time you told us the whole truth. I understand, Mr. Layton. I will tell you everything. I will tell you what we did. And what happened in town. The first cutscene. Oh, wait. Oh, we got... So we solved the flute. Yeah. The Spectre's flute was uh, auctioned to Evan Bard and came into his daughter's possession. Flute echoed through the old pipes that ran through the town. So the sound of the flute echoed through the pipes uh, at the lake and was heard all over town. Mariana used the flute to command a giant aquatic beast named Lucia. But Lucia is not the Spectre that has been laying waste to the town. What is? Lucia's soft, rubbery skin could not have damaged the stone buildings. The real Spectre, however, and that could seem. Fire at will! Oh no. They followed us. <gasps> what are they doing? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Motherfucks. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I caught a Spectre. Turns out. He was just a big old ugly dinosaur. <laughs> Third eye Jake's triumphs again. And this here is the witch what was controlling it. Two birds with one stone. Peace is restored and everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> no, it's going to cause more... No, the Spectre's going to do more the damage now. Is not you dumb fuck. This creature. You shut your trap, Rayton. You're just lucky I don't throw you back behind bars. You hear? Stop! You can't do this! God, somebody needs to kill that guy. Ariana, nope. No. He will get his comeuppance, though. Uh, professor, we have to help Ariana. Luke. We can't just let this happen. Luke. Come on, what are you waiting for? We have to catch up Luke, with them. calm down for a moment. What do you mean, calm down? I can't. She'll be fine. I give you my word on that, Luke. Remember, you can only help Ariana if you keep a clear mind. A clear mind? Hmm. All right, so, oh talk to Tony. No, we have to go to her room. Oh, okay, we'll get there in a moment. Talk to Tony. They took my... Oh. No, you had Tony. 
They took my sister. They took Anderson. They took and Lu Lucia. They took Ariana and Lucia. Tony, we will help her. I promise. You're gonna take on the police, like you did did, did now. We will get some help, and trust me, we will save your sister. No one will help you. Everyone in this town hates us. I don't believe that's true, Tony. Take this uh, note to a boy named Crow in the black market. He will help. Tony, you've got to believe us. You really, you really think you can save my sister and Louis? Yes. Oh, my. Yes, I know, you, or I know we can. But we're going to need your help to do so. I just need to deliver this note. Okay, but I was just going to help. I always keep my promises, Tony. Please, just trust me. So, wait, if Lucia isn't the Spectre, then... The real Spectre is something that uh, resembles Lucia, but isn't Lucia. And Lucia is trying to keep a Spectre from what, uh, from what it desires. Their ongoing battle is what's destroying those buildings in town. Ariana was afraid Lucia would get hurt uh, in those fights, and so she played the flute from here. Uh, of course! So was Ariana's flute actually... Activating the, the Spectre's flute? I don't know. We can't uh, be certain of that. However, playing it seemed to calm Lucia. You said that Lucia was fighting the real Spectre? That's right. Professor, who or what is the real Spectre then? I could tell you, but I'd rather show you, because I still need to show off. Let's see where our little trap yields. Hmm? You trapped that crows in the... Black Lion is helpless? The very same. Now let's go. I know the people called Ariana a witch, but they have no reason to harbor ill feelings toward her. We need to prove that the, to the town that Jake's is wrong about this. We need to try some, find some evidence about well convincing the townspeople. Ah, so we are getting right up in here. Yeah. Correct. This trap will help us do that and save Ariana as well. Should we head to the site of the last attack? No, we have to... Ooh, help my sister. Okay. Ah, uh, real quick. Alright, we'll have the uh, episode be the last thing, and then we'll move on to Ariana's room next episode. Uh, nothing in there? Oh yeah, collection. Uh, we got the grinning toy. This mischievous little smile could cheer anybody up. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, just look at Bendy. Yeah. <laughs> I need to play those games. Well, might as well wait for the last chapter to release first. Yeah. In order to save Ariana and Lucia, Tony offers a sincere apology to, for all the trouble he's caused and begs for help from the Black Ravens. You lost or something, kid? I have a note for someone called Crow. My sister needs help. Hey, relax, relax. Okay, come on. I'll take you to Crow. Oh, thank you. You want us to help you... Er, help the Calamity... You want us to help your sister... Please, you have to help. I don't know, kid. You seem alright, but I gotta tell you. If it turns out that your sister is the one controlling the Spectre, we'd be done for sure. After all those witches' marks she's been spreading around town, she might even be uh, stronger than ever. No, no, you're wrong. It was me who did it all that. I didn't stand it when people said bad things about her, so I left the marks all over the town. My sister there did anything wrong. I did. All of it. Really? Hmm. That's not bad. Uh, uh, that's not a bad scam, kid. Huh? That's something the Black Ravens might uh, have come up with. You know, any dance uh, or any chance to give Jake's a run for his money sounds like fun to me. So, so you'll help me? When it's all over, you have to tell the town what you uh, did and apologize. Promise, and we'll help. I promise. I promise. Okay, that's good enough. Now, uh, now, what are we supposed to do? I got this letter for you. What does it say? There's instructions for helping my sister. Hmm. Alright. Of course, you have to help too. Once everything's uh, in place, uh, Nabby will give the orders. Alright, thank you. Congratulations, kid. From now on, consider yourself an honorary Black Raven. Neat. Nice. And with that... We'll catch you guys tomorrow for more. Let me just save. And we'll see you later. Bye.